Well, what we're thinking about here, of course, is um, how to understand and know, navigate and change our mind. Why? Because we can then learn to be more content and fulfilled and be useful to others. Kind of, is that not what we want? So how, how, what is one way of looking at how we do that? Well, we take the Buddhist view of the mind, which I talk about all the time, we can distinguish between the neurotic, unhappy, delusional, fearful, eye-based states of mind that make a mess, cause us suffering and cause us to harm others. And the positive ones, the useful ones, the virtues, the goodness, you know, sounds simple enough. But the trouble is we mix them together like a big soup. So what's one example of a pair, let's say, one neurotic one and one useful one that come together? Well, it's called love and attachment. So love is the positive one. Love is useful, reasonable, and attachment is this neurotic, unhappy state of mind, you know. So what's their function? How do they differ? Well, attachment comes from a feeling, first of all, primordially of dissatisfaction. I'm not enough. I don't have enough. It's so deeply ingrained. It's hardly even articulate, you know. It's just a feeling. So because of that, we then hanker after something, of course, because something's missing, isn't it? So the obvious first level is the outside world. So let's just say there's a person, you know, due to this dissatisfaction, you're craving for a person in your life. So it's just, it's, it works over time, this attachment. And then along comes this person, and what attachment does is exaggerate their deliciousness, exaggerates their power in making you happy, and causes you to expect them to make you happy, you know, and then devastated when they don't. But love, what's love that comes along with it? And that's our saving grace. That's not neurotic. It's not delusional. It's not eye-based. It's useful, productive. It's, it's, it's the thought, the wish, may you be happy, a delight, which grows into affection and kindness, you know. So the difference between these is so incredible that we mix them, we conflate them even. And so begin to distinguish between these two, this is the way you'd start to work on your mind, you know.